Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Bitch, you know I ain't did this with y'all in a long time, girl. You already know I'm on one of my runs, honey. I got on my I got on my uh, untrustworthy wig, bitch, this morning. You know this is the wig you can't trust me in, girl. That this that which can't trust me wig. Hey, hey, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Now listen, I have asked God to remove the taste of many things out of my mouth. I've been like, God, I just want you to remove the taste. First of all, before I even start the morning, is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Who uh, what's up YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Scruff, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches, Christian Mingle, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison. I'm coming to you loud, live, and always, and forever, in color, from the car. Hey, girl, this is one of my morning runs, baby. Listen, I ain't did no morning run with y'all in a long time because I had been weaning back. Hey, good morning, but bitch, let me tell y'all something. I, the T.S., me, the T.S., yo, the T.S., baby, I got to have me some, um, I got to have me uh, one of them, uh, Sasha, one of them Sasha McMuffins this morning, bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm only going to have one, and I'm going to only have one hash brown. I'm sorry. But I'm going to have it this morning. I'm going to have it. I bet I asked God to take the taste of that out of my mouth. But, girl, this morning, I don't know what creeped up on me. I've been getting up early the last couple of days, you know, because I've been, um, my mama been calling me every morning at 7 o'clock, waking me up, girl, honey, so... She wakes me up at 7 every morning. Sometimes I'll be up before then, but I just be up because, you know, the early bird gets the worm. But, bitch, listen. So, this has sat down in my spirit, girl, like a skinny bitch in a big chair. This sat down in me. Girl, me and some friends was talking yesterday. Like, we was gossiping real hard, bitch. I mean, we was gossiping, like... But we weren't gossiping about nobody. We were just gossiping about, you know, people's places and things, but not nobody in particular. And we was talking about, um, uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's a whole, uh-uh. I'm glad. I, you see, God, thank you, God, for giving me sight beyond sight. It's a whole bag up over here. Oh, no. Oh, it's a whole traffic jam over there. Oh, they was trying to set me up real quick. It's a whole traffic jam over there, girl. Oh, no, man. I would not be stuck in traffic for no Sachi Muffin. Oh, no. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. Had to reroute that. See, God will put you on a new route. You would think you're going one way, and God will put you on another one. You would think your mind already shifted to go this way, and he will have you go the other way. Because that was not the way. And he will give you sight. Beyond sight. So that you can see in front of you. You got to open your eyes. See if my, if my eyes wasn't open. Because I was busy talking. I wouldn't have seen that traffic jam up there. And I'd have been stuck. Y'all open your eyes this morning. Can somebody say open my eyes this morning Lord. Just open me up where I can see. Open your eyes. Look down further than what's in front of your nose girl. Look further down. Open your eyes. Anyway, so we was talking and stuff like that, and girl, honey, as we was as we, as we was conversing, um, we had talked about a real sensitive subject for me, and I was like, girl, let me tell you something. You know, talking to my good Jude, I said, girl, let me tell you something, bitch. Let me tell you how I feel the, in these days and times. In two months, I'm gonna be 42 years old. One thing I ain't got time to be doing is harboring. Harboring old energies, old spirits, old feelings to a motherfucker. Now, let me tell you something. Now, when I say that, I want to say this in this way. When I say harboring, I mean e even in the secret place, even in the place when you think you done throw it in the garbage can and let it go and, uh, and went out the window, shit like I mean, even in the secret place, harboring, you know, feelings towards motherfuckers that done, done, done been some kind of way, done did you some kind of way. This, and no, this ain't about a particular motherfucker. It's a lot of people that do bitches some kind of way, okay? So y'all don't even try to pers don't even try to make this back. This it is just air, bitch. This shit goes all the way down the motherfuckers I done fell out with, bitch. Back. 
back when I wasn't even living in this place. Okay? Now, I want to tell you like this right here. Okay? I told my friends that would sit at the table. I said, bitch, this is what you got to do to hoes, bitch. And you got to go on your public platform and say this shit so these hoes, because some hoes stay watching you. Believe the hoes keep their eyes on you. They keep their eyes on you. You got to say this on your public platform every day. This got to be your morning mantra or, or, or bitch, or at least once or twice out of the week. Lord, I pray that you give my enemies the same amount of motherfucking grace that they give me. Father God, I pray that everything that my enemies give me, that you give it to them tenfold. Now that means good or bad. That means good or bad. I pray that you give it to these motherfuckers tenfold. I don't pray nothing bad on you. I pray that you measure them the amount that they measure me. Times ten. And see, that'll stop a bitch from motherfucking keeping their mouth sideways on you. Because when you start praying, my mama say, always pray for your enemies. Pray for I do pray for them. I pray that the Lord gives them exactly what they give out in the world. I pray that the good father gives them exactly what the fuck they give out. If all the bitch give out is that they nuts crossed on you. If all the bitch give that they, all, that they ain't got nothing but negative shit and, and evil shit to say about you. And all that kind of shit. You got to pray that the good Lord gives them all. That they get, bitch, that they get all what they give. That's all I pray for you motherfuckers. That's what I pray for you, motherfuckers. I pray that the good Lord give you everything that you... He gives you back everything that you give out. So this way, you hoes will turn around and start motherfucking... And, and, and start, you know, wishing the best for a bitch. Or wish, see, I wish the best for every motherfucking body. I do. I wish the best for everybody. I wish the best... That don't mean because I... That don't mean I have to fuck with you... Because I wish the best for you. I just wish the best for you. Because I want the good Lord to give me what I give out. When you bitches start motherfuckers uh, getting into that space. Where you want the good Lord to give you what you give out. You will stop being a mess. I guarantee you hoes will stop being a mess. I guarantee it. That's a money back guarantee. That's some money back guarantee, bitch. If the good Lord start giving y'all back what you give out tenfold, you will cut some of that messy shit out that you do. That's my prayer for you, bitches. That, that for, for all of you motherfuckers. That's my prayer. That the Lord give y'all back what you give out tenfold. Then you will be mindful of the shit you do because you don't want it. Lord, why I just can't get ahead? Cause you praying for a bitch not to move. That's why. And the Lord answering your prayer, giving you your answer that you praying on them. He answering your prayer for you. Why can I not get? Why can't I move forward? Why am I still in the same hole? Why am I been the same growing? Why this ain't happening for me? Cause bitch, you praying on the next bitch downfall. So God blessing you. God, God is answering your prayer. That's your that's his blessing to you. You stand down. You stand down. Cause you want somebody else to be down. Are you down? Da -da -down, da -da -down, da -da -down, down down. So you got to start praying that to don't don't listen. Don't never wish no ill on your enemies, bitch. Wish that the God that good the good Lord give them exactly what they give out. And you know them motherfuckers don't give out nothing but negativity. So you just pray that the good Lord gives them exactly. And they'll cut that shit out. When they realize. When they realize. And then you got to ask. You got to say God please. When you give it to them. Let them know it came from you. Oh no this line too long. What's going on at McDonald's? I got to get back on 20. I don't give all that. I don't, it must be seen. See that's the Lord telling me don't eat them. That's the Lord. I don't old past that done's been a lab right around the building. That means I be eating this. I'm just gonna go somewhere else. I ain't gonna eat McDonald's. I wanted a sashimi muffin. I ain't gonna eat McDonald's. I ain't gonna do that. 
Let me tell I got back on 20. Hello? 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 Uh-uh, we don't want to call it calm, but we want to call it blessings. Lord, bless them with what they bless others. Lord, please bless them peoples with what they... We don't want to call it karma. We want them hoes to get their blessings. Lord, bless them with what they bless others with. Bless them, Lord. Give it to them. Tenfold. Bet you you'll cut that shit out. Bet you. Bet you you'll cut that bullshit out. When you start to realize... That the motherfucker that you over there praying against and got your mouth on with such vitriol, such evil vitriol, and bitch, you sit like, why can't I never? Why is it ain't working? Why can't I? Why? Girl, go back and think. Go back and look. Go back and look. Let the Lord reveal it to you in the sight. Let the Lord let you stumble across this motherfucking video so that you know why. Bitch, listen. I won't. Bitch, I'm telling y'all. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best to get over here to this um to this thing over here, girl. But, you know what I'm saying? I think I do. I don't want to do Chick fil A because <sighs> Chick fil A be, oh, girl, it be a lot. Be a lie, girl. Chick fil A. Oh. Be a lie, girl. Just. See, y'all calling it karma. I want to call it blessings for them. Blessings. Girl, what are these black tents on the car like this? These tents are so black on here. Yes, Trey. You better feel that song, Trey. Trey, that bitch, you better feel that. Trey is feeling that song. Y'all hear me? Whatever that shit is over there, Trey is just, yes, Trey. Baby, Trey is feeling that this morning. If I can sit through the black tents to Trey over there, Trey is bust, is carrying her on. See, that's another thing y'all need to pay attention to. Y'all be doing all this talking and stuff like that. The music be influencing the people for, for all eternity. The, the music been in flow. Bitch, my voice that got so deep, girl. I think after I had that baby, girl, my voice just started going real deep. Started to get low. I can't even say. I can't even hit them high notes like I used to. It's just or maybe because it's early morning. Now I want to know who the fuck eating breakfast tacos at damn Taco Bell. Mm -mm. Cross I pass Burger King, girl. I, I'm going to try the McDonald's. I pass Burger King, girl. Girl, let me give y'all the tea, right? So I was reading a few things, girl. Like, you know, I was reading a few things. Uh, um, You know, I, I read a little couple of stuff I do. I ain't going to front like I don't. We all do, bitch. Don't act like that. And I was reading a couple of things, and the bitch going to say, I seen a bitch right. That trip that she did to the DR, that wasn't no motherfucking... That ain't do. I was like, boy, when I tell you a bitch will go, a bitch will really try to underwhelm everything you do. A bitch will try to. Uh, man, let me tell you something. Through that scare in the Dominican Republic and all that, we still had over 136 people come out of the almost out of the 200 people that we actually got to book the book the, the the situation to go to the Dominican Republic. Motherfucker gonna say. She ain't did nothing with that show. I was like, girl, they really be. The bitch don't. Uh, see, this why. Bitch don't want to never give you no G. Bitch will sit on the hand. Let me tell you something. When I see good things happening for people, I applaud. You got to applaud people. You got to applaud people. How the fuck you think? I be just like, damn, they try to find everything. They try to find everything. I'm like, so she ain't nobody. That bitch ain't no. See, listen, that bitch. So I just be like, what? Why do y'all have such vitriol in y'all heart? 
for somebody you ain't never met, you don't never know, you will never meet. You just got a, a spot in your heart, a, a illegitimate, and you know where it come from? It comes from admiration. It don't really come from no place. Them bitches don't really hate you, girl. They admire you because they, they, they sit back and they just know that you're going to fail at everything you do. They just know it. Then when they see, because if three people would have came, they would have been like, girl, ah, girl, we had 200 folks. And because of the scale, we end up with 136. That's amazing. And it's going to be about 500 next year. Because we're going to Aruba. Because we was going to Costa Rica, but... Mm -mm. Hello? Hello? Maybe I need to pull up a little Hello, bit. good morning. Would you like to try to stay regular this morning? Hi, good morning. Um, I'd like to have a number two, please. With an, or with an orange juice. Okay, anything else? Uh, excuse me, do you have um, the uh, mango smoothie? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to have that, please. Okay, anything else I can get for you? Um, let me have an uh, extra hash brown. Okay. Um, also, could I have a uh, breakfast burrito? Okay. That'll be all. Thank you. You're welcome. Love. I have it for a mango smoothie, a uh, sausage egg with muffin milk, and a burrito, and a hash brown you're today. It's 1226. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Damn. <clears throat> oh. Yes, girl. So, I was like, bitch, this is this, this shit crazy because the bitches is so, they bitches is secretly, the hoes be really secretly just it be they be it be they be admiring girl it be just full of admiration like they be really admiring you and they can't take it they can't take because they really sit back and they really have they don't really see shit they don't really see uh an advancement for themselves they don't see they don't see they don't see their life in a in a space or in a place of advancement for themselves, so they definitely don't see it for you. Good morning. Yes. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Yeah, so they don't see it for themselves, so bitch, they can't see. They see that same thing, and they see everybody else. And see, this is what they, when I used to tell people, girl, when I was in the adult entertainment industry, my I made this this amount of money. No, you didn't. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Yeah, burritos. Oh, ah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Good morning. Thank you. 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 Thank you have a good weekend. You too, boo. Thank you so Be blessed. Much. Yeah. Yeah. So they what they try to do is they try to underwhelm everything you do. And motherfuckers say, oh, she brag about her house. She brag about her house so much. All she talk about is that. No, I don't. That's all y'all hear. Or that's all y'all see, bitch, because I spin around and say, I'm coming to you loud, loud and in color from the marvelous chateau. That's all y'all hear, or that's all you see, because, bitch, that's what you got a problem. That's what you got a problem with, bitch. That's what you, bitch, got a problem with. You got a problem with me having my shit. You got a problem with me having my home. You got a problem with me saying, thank God, bitch, bitch. And I, of course, I'm supposed to feel proud of the shit that I done did, especially when the odds were stacked so high against me. Yes. Of course, I'm going to encourage people with, with odds that are stacked so high against them, bitch, to get it. Yes. One day that motherfucker going to burn down. And if it do, bitch, it is covered, bitch, by all state twice, bitch. What is you talking about? It is covered. It's we in good hands with all state, bitch.
believe it. I just be like, why? Bitch, you be sitting back there wishing, 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 wishing. I'm like, how could you dedicate energy to motherfucking shit like that? How could you dedicate energy to a bitch? Oh, bitch, she got AIDS, bitch. She's sick. Who dedicates energy to, to someone's demise? Like, who? Never prosper. You speak in your own... Pro- People that do that shit, they speak in their own prosperity over their life. You speak in your own prosperity over your life. Like, you speak in your own... It's crap. Like, some days you sit and look at that shit, you be like, girl, this shit is... This is frightening. It is scary. It's scary because you just be like, wow. So, and then... You you see why people people mad with Beyonce? You they mad with Beyonce? They mad with Rihanna? They mad with Nicki Minaj? They mad with Cardi B? They mad with the girls? Like they be sitting there really? Let me see if this if this line move. They be really sitting there angry and filled with vitriol, deep dark vitriol in their hearts that it seeps through their flesh because it's embedded in their spirit and it's so embedded in their spirit that it's blocking them from achievements girl Mm -mm. not T.S. you say what odds were stacked against me I'm black for one, I'm African American. That's odd one. Black. I fall under the gay category. That's two. Three, I'm a transgender woman. Hello. Hello. Those are just three off the top. If we keep it at 2000. Off the top. Anything that happens for me is a great achievement for me because the odds, the odds are stacked against me. Who said my voice is deeper than your daddy? Well, shit, you get what I'm saying? Your daddy's voice should be deep because as much dick as dicks as he done sucked, bitch, somebody done got down there and touched them tonsils. Bitch, all the many nights that you walked in there, your mammy was crying, bitch, by the side of that motherfucking bed rubbing y'all heads, girl. Bitch, it was because your daddy had done got that motherfucking goddamn shit stuck off in his throat. That coating. That semen coating in his throat. And your mammy found out by accident. You got to take that up with your, with your daddy. Anyway... But like I was saying, girl, this shit just crazy. Like, let me sit down like, girl, this shit is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, bitch, because I ain't finished with you yet. And bitch, my voice made me deeper than your motherfucking daddy's bitch. But, but rest assured, bitch, that I'm the type of bitch... Who your daddy motherfucker saves his income tax money for, bitch. I'm that type of hoe. That your daddy saves his income tax money for, bitch. And your mama mad at it. Because, bitch, you mad. I'm the type of bitch that be on the phone with your daddy motherfucking hoe. Talking to him real deep because he done told you stankin' ass mammy, bitch. That I'm his homeboy. And he finna go out goddamn ski sloping with his homeboy. Pussy. I think some of you motherfucking hoes love for me to cuss y'all bitch ass out. And I'm in the mood this morning, bitch, because I ain't got nothing to do. Grotesque ass bitch.
And he liked me with this motherfucking untrustworthy ass Bob on bitch. And no makeup bitch with a deep voice on the phone asking your daddy Joe where he at. What's up, Joe? I'm outside, bitch. Your mama know how deep my voice is. I done spoke to that bitch many times. Hey, Carol. What's up, homegirl? Where my homeboy, Joe? Tell him I'm outside. We finna go fishing. He about to catch him an electric eel. Y'all gonna be eating eel this week, bitch. Bitch, play with your pussy, bitch. Don't play with me. Do your motherfucking taxes, bitch. Don't do me. What's up, Carol? Tell Joe to step outside. We got some fishing to do. I heard y'all wanted eel this week. Electric eel at that. He got to come outside and go catch it with me. If real is what you feel, feelings aren't real. Put your money down and place the bet and spin the wheel. If real is what you feel, feelings aren't real. Put your money down, place the bet and spin the wheel. The realness. Bitch. Y'all always want to step in a, in a place. You want to step in an arena with a bitch that ain't bothering you, bitch. You ain't seen how big I am, ho. I'm a heavyweight. I'm a heavyweight, bitch. Champion. Who pumped you and told you to come rump with me? I walk through these internet streets, bitch, comfortably. Real is what you feel. Feelings aren't real. Put your money down and place the bet and spin the wheel. Real is what you feel. Feelings aren't real. Put your money down. Put your money down. Do I want to continue to read this motherfucking bitch? Do I want to continue to read this bitch? I feel like re I feel the spirit of the library on me this morning, honey. I feel the spirit of an E. Lynn Harris book on a bitch this morning. Bitch, because I'm up early. I feel the E. Lynn, the e. Lynn Harris spirit on, a, on me this morning, bitch. I want to read. Goddamn cock-sucking ass. I want to read, bitch. The realness. Put your money down. Put your money down. Let me get in here and sit to the table, bitch. Where I can comfortably tear your ass up, bitch. In a comfortable space. In my academic. And then get over there and lay on my motherfucking sofa and watch my motherfucking TV, bitch, because I ain't got shit to do today. Because the bills is paid. Whore. You know you over there at your cubicle watching me, bitch. And ain't nothing wrong with being at your cubicle, but bitch, for you, bitch, stay in your lane. It real is what you feel. Feelings are real. System disarmed. No. Talking about my voice, bitch, when you chain smoking ass grandmammy Rita done smoked all the fucking cool menthol 100s, bitch. From the time she was six six years old, bitch, she was smoking cigarettes. Bitch, you used to a woman with a deep ass voice, ho. I'm ready, bitch. I prayed for your ass this morning. Whoever the fuck you was, I prayed that the good father measure you bitch asses with the same amount of motherfucking shit you get. You measure the others. Real 
real is what you feel. Where you at, niece? Niece, where you at? I know you read it. You currently is a is a you are currently a series of binary codes, bitch, of zeros and ones, bitch. But I got time to look at numbers this morning, bitch. What's the tea? What they do, ho? I'm finna eat my breakfast and then I'ma lay on my sofa, bitch, and watch my motherfucking TV over there until I'm tired. Then I'ma go to sleep, bitch, and then I'ma get up and do absolutely nothing else and plan my fucking tour. Bitch, what I'm getting ready to do to, to go around the country and collect my change, bitch. So what's the tea? <laughs> bitch, no y'all hoes did. Y'all hoes did not try. Oh, there it go. Where you at, bitch? Bitch, are you going to verify with your mama? All them nights that she was in that room crying, bitch. Is you going there to verify with that bitch? All them nights that she was in that crying, bitch. You, did you go in there and verify that your daddy had scrap rope, bitch? You going for verification, bitch? I we I will be right here waiting on you. Go get that verify. Click over and call that bitch. Ask that bitch how many times your daddy done had strep throat. Better yet, call your grandmammy and ask that bitch when the first time she smoked a cigarette. One is six years old. Oh. She must be gone. She going to get phone verification, bitch. That bitch must be going to get some verification on the phone. Mm -hmm. Who is this person me? Mm. If real is what you feel, 
Feelings aren't real. Put your money down. The realness. Come on, y'all. Hold on. Bitch, when I tell you this damn um, sandwich is so good, I was craving. I ain't had one of these in so long. Y'all know I used to do those runs, those morning runs, girl, to tear this bitch up. I ain't had this in so long. Mmm. 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 Ah. Did you go verify, bitch? Mm-mm. Did she come to visit me? Did she come to visit me? I do, I'm about to take these nails off though. A little bit, I'm trying to work on it, girl. Mm -mm, who is this inboxing me? Girl, my phone is going through it this morning. Bitch, listen. I want to talk about Kimberell. What she done went and did, y'all. First of all, before we start talking about Kimberell, what in the entire fuck happened with Juanita Viner? Somebody tell me what happened with Juanita Viner. What did Juanita Bynum do? My mama told me, my mama said, boo. Don't be talking about the saints like that because you don't want the wrath of God on you. I said, mama, I ain't talking about the saints, but shit, if the saints get out there and it's news, in the news, what the fuck they, I'm going to talk about it, what they did. What did Kim, y'all got to tell me what Kim Burrell did, girl. And there, you don't know what Juanita Bynum did? Let me look up the story. I don't even know what Juanita Bynum did. What she did? What did Juanita Bynum do? Mm. Child, my wig, I pulled it this way. What happened? What did Juanita Bynum do? Hotel and looked through. Oh! A pastor went through, went in her hotel and looked through her underwear. What? About telling her and seeing her panties laid out. <laughs> wait. I, uh, uh wait. Wait. Wait, y'all. Wait. He came in her room without telling her and seeing her panties laid out and she didn't want to preach knowing what he seen.
But why they was trying to make that news? That she was in the hotel. So she was in the hotel and she had her panties laid out. So this is what I'm trying to figure out. If she was in the hotel and her panties was laid out, how the fuck did that man get in her room with a key? Unless her name, unless his name was on the room. Oh, it was somebody else on the... Uh-uh, I got to look this story up. Mm-mm. I can't count on... Y'all don't be giving me all the tea. I need all of it. Let me Google why I need a vinyl. And see what they tell me. Juanita. I heard it was by some, some church money too. Girl, this. Oh, I'm going to have to go deep in this. This is a lot. I, I'm seeing lots of videos on this. I'm going to have to go deep in this. Oh, okay. Here it go. Pastor entering Juanita Bynum's hotel room uninvited sparks debate on privacy decorum. He said he was it cost him perhaps even more. Uh, this he was decided to make a history with his breaking. Uh, how, well, why the fuck did he go on? Home? Oh, he had booked her. Okay, so he got in the room because his name was on the hotel. Okay, because that's the only way you can really get in the room. Unless your name on the reservation. Oh, okay. Mmm. Mmm. She explained that she decided to cancel her appearance at Moore's Church because the 35-year-old married preacher allegedly entered her nearly $500. Now, let me tell you something. I'm T.S. Madison, bitch, Okay. And I'm out here in the rural. I don't pay no $500 a night for no hotel room, bitch. What they gave this? A pre this they gave her the presidential suite? See, this is where the church money be going. $500 a night hotel room. Why? Girl, you could stay at the $159.99? Mm-mm. 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 The Hilton in Norfolk got $500 a night hotel room. I done been to Norfolk, Virginia. The Hilton in Norfolk. He allegedly saw her underwear and clothes lay out while she was not in the room as reported by a staff member of the hotel to her sister and she was too shaken to preach. The fact that I'm getting ready to go and stand in somebody's pool pit who seen my underwear, I'm sorry people, I just felt naked. Did you give the people back their deposit, Juanita? Did you give the people their deposit back? The fact that I'm getting ready to go and stand in somebody's pool pit who's seen my underwear. I'm sorry, people. I just felt naked, and I still do, and just felt so violated. I said to my sister, what do you mean he's been in my room? You mean, like, been in my room and saw all my underwear? And she said, yeah, yes, ma'am. And I said, well, how do you know that? And she said, because the secretary called upstairs, Bynum said. She did explain that the hotel's manager had called her assistant to ask why she had two rooms booked in her name. Bynum said her assistant told the manager that she did not have two rooms in her name, but checked in with Bynum's credentials, as she is accustomed to do, which gave her permission to prepare the room. The manager said Bynum asked if all of her stuff, her underwear was laid out, everything like the pastor said it was. Moore insisted that he meant no harm when he entered Bynum's room. I never seen any underwear, none of that, he told the Christian Post. He also said he never made the claim to any Hilton staff member that he had been had seen Bynum's underwear. Absolutely not. That is a lie, he said. And after trying and failing to meet the televangelist's long list of exacting demands, 
Moore said he still hasn't formally met the woman who left him all by himself to explain to a crowd of more than 300 people, some who had traveled from several states to see her why she wasn't going on to preach. God's word is playing on Sunday. That was one of the most awkward moments of my life that I will never, ever forget. I told the people, we appreciate and we honor Dr. Juanita Bynum and her gift. But unfortunately, Dr. Juanita Bynum will not be here tonight. She is in town and she is in her room. But because of unforeseen circumstances that are out of my hands, she will not be here tonight. The people stood up with, with, with applause and we continue to move on in service, he said. While some critics thought Bynum's controversial broadcast of what happened was over an overreaction, the incident has sparked a deep conversation about privacy and decorum and drew swift support from women in ministry. Theologian Candace Marie Benda, Benbo and others argue that Moore was out of line when he entered Bynum's room uninvited. Juanita Bynum had every right not to preach at Experience Church. I honestly don't know any male pastor with good sense or intentions who would go into a woman's hotel room without her knowledge or consent. He was foul. She was right, wrote Benbo on Twitter Wednesday. I have preached and done workshops for pastors I've known for years. Men I consider my brothers. Negroes who have seen me in my bonnet on FaceTime. And they have never gone into my room when I was there in a professional capacity. It's just some things you don't do, she continued. Women have a right to feel safe. And that was a breach of safety. And to that, he had absolutely no regard for her reputation. He didn't even care about what it meant for her, a black clergy woman, to have a man. The pastor, no less, seen going on into and coming out of her hotel room, Ben Bao continued. Do y'all know how hard some sisters work to keep their names and reputations intact only for this? And y'all's little post-preaching meals where y'all talk about sisters over chicken wings to ruin it. And when brothers and sisters in ministry reduce their decision to an overreaction, I be want y'all to give y'all degrees and ordination credentials back because y'all don't read and you don't listen. Moore said he has hosted several high-profile preachers at his church before, but Bynum, was the most famous female preacher he had ever invited. Invite me. Put me in the $500 a night hotel and pay me. Put down $3,000 for me and give me the other $3,000 when I get to the pool pit. I come and preach at the, at the women's convention. Me. The TS. Me. Moore said he has hosted several high pro whatever. Usually he said it is his wife who handles the welcome of female preachers. But she was out of town at the time. He entered Bynum's room. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. When he contracted her to preach at the conference on July 21st, Moore said they negotiated a down payment of $3,000 plus half of the night's offer. I got to start on my other sandwich. Because now we finna get down to the logistics of what I need to, what I need to buy. Babe, I'm going into ministry. They get paid kind of what I get paid. Hold on. She got the, the listen, the way this little, but why need to buy her? She got the, she got her feet and the bar. She got her feet and the bar, bitch. Hold on. Moore said they negotiated a down payment of three grand plus plus half of the night's offering as well as airfare accommodation and other travel expenses for her and her staff. They makes money in that church. You hear me? They makes a nasty coin in that church. Do you hear me when I tell you? 
three gram plus half half of the night's offering as well as airfare accommodation and travel expenses for her and her staff. The contract also came with self, several riders explaining how Bynum wanted things to be handled, such as the type of car she wanted to be picked up at at the airport. Yes, yes, Heavenly Father. Yes. You better give your Beyonce demands. Yeah. Moore said he was working hard on the contract to make sure Bynum had a good experience in Virginia. And things were exactly as she wanted, but her staff made things difficult for him. Moore said he went into the hotel on July 20 to make sure everything was fine. And then on Saturday before her arrival, he delivered some goodies, which he gives to all the church's guests just to say thank you. Right, when you booking somebody, right? The hotel staff initially gave Moore a key to the room. He discovered that was not Bynum's, he said. They later gave him another key to the room. When he got there, he saw luggage inside and assumed that he was in the wrong room again because Bynum wasn't in town yet. He was unaware that her staff, including her assistant, Unica Chambers, had arrived early and were supposed to be in their own rooms. He explained that Bynum was supposed to arrive in Virginia on Saturday morning, but her arrival was delayed by several hours, so he decided to use the opportunity to personally deliver the church's welcome packet, which included a framed photograph of Bynum, which triggered the unfortunate series of events that ended with the prophet prophetess. With the prophetess. Canceling her appearance and taking all his money with her too. <laughs> now y'all know I'm putting this on the docket Monday. I don't give a fuck. Ain't no statute of limitations on this. Y'all know I'm putting this on the ledger, bitch. When I sit on that bench with whoever I sit with, I, this ain't no statute of limitations with this. With all of our guests, my wife would normally be there. Because we are from Virginia, we like to show Southern hospitality. And so we go above and beyond to show our guests that we really appreciate them. Knowing that Dr. Bynum wasn't going to be there until later on. I wanted to put those items in her room very quickly and leave, more said. I am gagging. I am gagging. I am gagging. I am gagging. Moore explained that he didn't go far into the room because he was alarmed by the luggage he thought belonged to another guest. He immediately went to the hotel staff and complained that there was somebody inside Bynum's room. And it needed to be fixed. And that's when the hotel staff reached out to Bynum's assistant, Unica, 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 I guess, Chambers, and informed her that Moore had set foot inside the prophetess room and seen her underwear, according to Bynum's Facebook post. Girl, let me tell y'all something. This is some bullshit. Me reading this, this is some bullshit. For one, I have guest judges, okay? When I fly, when I do these shows, I fly my guest judges in. I put my guest judges in their room. I give my guest judges a car from the airport to the room or or whatever. If they if they get in the Uber, I pay them back for that. But this is the thing. I go, if, if it's a big city, I may put a little care package in the room because the room is in my name. The rooms are in my name. Because I book the rooms, I pay for the rooms. The stuff is in my name. So if, it, if you ain't a booking person... You don't know how the fuck that shit worked. So the man had the, the man 
could have went in the room. He booked her. He booked her. She was booked. Now, it was some lying went on because she wasn't even supposed to be there. But she was she her luggage and stuff was there. But the but she said her sisters came in before her. Here's where the thing is, here's where it's knocking on my door. Right here. Why was the room five hundred dollars a night in Virginia? I done been to Virginia. You ain't supposed to pay for over two hundred dollars or two fifty for no room in Virginia. And that ain't no shade to Virginia. Why is this room five hundred dollars? Where is you? Where you staying at, girl? Where you staying? And then this lady say she want three grand plus. Plus half of the night's offerings. Now you know damn well that offering supposed to go to the church building fund. You know damn well. You won't. Oh, I got to really deeply investigate on this. Before I put this, because this is the I don't ain't no statute of limitations on God. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Five hundred dollars a night. She want a car, and I get it. I get it. You passed the bottom. You don't have a television show. You don't have a television show. You don't have all the things. All the things that happen. Like you are a mega. You are a, a televangelist. So you're supposed to get paid. So let's. It was three hundred people there. Could you imagine how three hundred people? Let me let me get y'all. Let me let me put this in y'all. In y'all head. Could you imagine how 300 people going to be there putting their offer in the plate because, because the prophetess, them, the prophetess going to be running around hollering and screaming and telling them about their breakthrough that's coming. All they got to do is, is tithe and offer and, and sow. I want y'all to hear me now. Hear me clearly. You know how much she know that she getting half of the offerings. Okay? She getting half of the offerings in the plate. So tell me you ain't going to you your message, your sermon not going to be on the power of giving and what God gives you back when you give. You mean to tell me you don't think that her sermon was going to be the power <laughs> of receiving through giving. You don't mean you better know that that was going to be the that, that was going to be the topic. I got the bays after this because I feel dirty. So let me put my shower cap on. Because I feel filthy after this. You got to know, I feel it in my spirit, that the topic of her sermon was going to be the gift of receiving through giving. Hear me clearly. Hear me clearly. The gift of receiving through giving. 300 people in there was going to go in their purse because they wanted God to give them a, 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 a supernatural blessing. Oh, you say 4,300 people? Oh, dear God. Do you know how she was going to be preaching right across the room? And I said, I got that. And I said that the Lord told me to come. And I feel it out of my spirit. And Father God, I tell you about it. And I said, I'm not going to tell you. And I said, I'm not going to tell you. And 4,300 people 
was going to be standing up with their hands in the air, going like this. And listen, this is a black church in Virginia. Okay? Don't you think that for one moment that she not going to say something about the gays. Because the black churches love hearing something about homosexuals being condemned. They love it. They get the shouting even more. Even the gays in the church get the shouting. And God said, let that not be. Because I'm going to get on that Kimberell shortly. I'm going to get on that motherfucking gnome shoe wearing ass bitch shortly. You know for a fact that them people going to scream and holler and go to the offer plate soon as they start screaming out something about the gays going to burn in hell. Soon as they say something about that baby and the offering plate go around, all them black Negroes gonna be in there dumping, dumping their last rent check. Dumping their last rent check. They annuity. Borrowing Peter and Paul, borrowing from Peter and Paul to pay tithes into that. And my God, I have it. Bitch, 4,300 people. Do you know how many buckets they was going to have to sit around those industrial mop buckets? To get them colors out of there. They was going to have to sit around industrial mop buckets. To get all that money out of there. And you turn it over to a rubber made in mine. And the God said, and get your blessing. Hallelujah. And I got a word from the Lord. The Lord just spoke to me right now. He said he loves a cheerful giver. He said he loves a cheerful giver. Give, give, give. And the Lord will give it unto you. Bitch. Do you know how full that offering plate, how full that, they would have had to have mop buckets of cash to get out of there. And she said right here, they said that her requirement was $3,000. $3,000 was her down payment. Okay? Plus half of the night's offering as well as airfare, accommodation, and other travel expenses for her and her staff. That is insane. I already. Girl, I would be on this shit for two days. I would be re, I would be on this shit for two days talking about this. And I saw the father. And he spoke to me. And the Lord said to me, He loves a cheerful giver. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, I can. Oh, do y'all feel it in the room? Oh, feel it in the room? Oh, do you feel it? Do you feel the spirit in here? That broken mother. That broken mother. That broken mother, 
Bitch, everybody in the black community got a mama who may who nigga left her without no left her kid her to fear for her children by herself. That broken every mother in the black community. Every if it ain't you, it's somebody you know got a son that's in prison. Everybody in the black community, whether it's you or somebody you know, got an eviction notice on their door. So it's just a general, it'd be a general thing, and the children just. You see, he's the same God today as he was yesterday, and he'll be the same God forever. Bitch, I'm finna get, I'm, I'm finna get ordained. <laughs> Where do I go get ordained? <laughs> Where do I go get ordained at? Huh? Where do I go get my ordained? Where do I get my ordain? I want to be a pastor. I want to be a I want to be a prophetess too. I want to be a prophetess too. And a bishop and a doctor. Three thousand, y'all. I gotta go back to this. Three thousand. It said right here. Three thousand. Three thousand plus half of the night's nice offering, as well as airfare. I don't even want to finish my, I'm done. I'm done, girl. I got to further investigate, and then I'm coming back on Kimberella. Let God be true quickly. Miss Let God be true quickly. What God need to be doing quickly is keeping the motherfucking foundation up under them heels that bitch put on. Because that bitch forever top toppling. Cause that, see, the spirit ain't, the, the, real, the right spirit ain't in her. That's why he keep pushing her down on Sunday mornings. That's why those heels keep collapsing from up, or collapsing from up under her. She caves those heels in, bitch. That's that's what the fuck be going on. She caves though. She caves in those heels, bitch. Every time. God ain't please. Y'all say y'all want me to do the binding one more time before I go. And he is the same God. God I ain't finna play with y'all. Mm mm. I ain't finna do that. I was just point make. I was just pointing it out. I wasn't being messy. You know, somewhere in the sermon they were gonna say something about the gays and the the blacks was gonna go bananas. The blacks was gonna go insane. Like that lady was on the that lady who that old lady from the college. I forget her name. I can't stay. I'm so sick of sissies. I'm so sick of sissies in the church. 
I'm so sick of sissy. I was like, girl, in the air, you just see them all jumping up and screaming in the background. I'm like, I'm just sitting there looking at, what's that lady in the Koji church name? The Koji lady. I'm going to tell you her name. God, listen, God, them hoes going to gag when God get through, when, when the real God, when the real Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost come through here and let them know that all, all, all of what y'all thought was the way, wasn't. Here she go. Francis Kelly. Here she go. This one. She's so sick of sissies in the church, man, and the peoples went crazy. Yes. Some of us even look back at the world and the doings and we slowly gravitate back to the world. Now we don't backslide all at once. Sad, sad, sad. We begin to go back with little I got that. I club fingernails with your missionary license. I ain't studying you. It's so much. God help me tonight. They just go crazy. And if they ain't got none, don't you look for one of them. The Bible said they one of It just goes crazy. I'm so sick of this. I keep trying to tell you, men didn't get ugly to me when I got saved. They still look good. But the Bible said. Here she go. Praise the Lord. Listen, God intended for man. Let me, let, let, let me give me about a few minutes with this. He intended for man, his wife, and his children to be a unit. Huh? Let me tell you the order God meant for it to be. The man following God. The woman praying in church. Know and if you don't go to church, you go and pray him on over there. I'm going to nightclub. I don't want to Suppose he go to the prostitute house. I don't want to sit here watching this whole bullshit with this bull. This, but she was so sick of sissy. I'm so sick of sissies. I'm so sick of sissies in the church. And I'll be like, girl, y'all say shit like this. And it's like, what a sissy supposed to go? Sipping and flopping and grinning in the preacher's face. These preachers got. Uh, if you was in the church and they spoke about the gays, listen. First of all, I don't attend these types of churches. I don't, I don't. It's her name, Francis Kelly. I don't attend these types of churches. This ain't that. I, I don't need. I don't want to go there for that type of teaching. You know, because there's a difference between preaching, <coughs> or teaching the word, <coughs> <coughs> and preaching at somebody. You get what I'm saying? Mm -mm. No. Oh wait, here she. What they say? Look at me. As of this day, whatever sin the enemy is cloaking you with, do you want to be delivered? Yes, look, look. They they get these kind of queens. Do you want to be delivered? And so you the one that's going to... Go back no more that way. Look. I curse. I'm not going to call him by his name. He know his name and you do too. But you're a lying demon. God birthed this young man to be what he wanted him to be. And the blood of Jesus is against your filthy spirit of God. Over here, done picked out the sissy with the pink jacket on, right? The sissy with the pink jacket on. She done picked him out, okay? 
Now, what about the two niggas standing by the queen that he done sucked their dick? She ain't caught the spirit on them yet. See, this the shit that I be saying. They don't never catch the spirit on the nigga. It wouldn't be no, it wouldn't be no prostitutes, bitch, if it wasn't no tricks. Let me lay these analogies down so that you can understand. It wouldn't be no prostitutes if it wasn't no tricks. It wouldn't be no dick suckers if it wasn't no dicks to be sucked. It wouldn't be no asses getting fucked by you because you got it take a dick to go in the ass to fuck it. So the the queen ain't just being fucked by herself. The man fucking the queen too. But y'all don't never catch them spirits. The bitches go out there and they marry them motherfuckers. Because they only see the pink jacket on the outside. The ones they talking about, they so sick of the sissies in the church. You walk past this man and you see they jacket, pink jacket, and you already know. But what about that man over there in that double-breasted and the one in the triple-breasted suit that done fuck that pink jacket? But you got your hands on the man in the pink jacket because you can see his sin. See, that's the problem with y'all colors. That's y'all colors problem. You all, y'all, you, you can't really see that deep down hatred that you have in your heart. You can't see that thieving that you done did. You can't see that, that lusting and that whoremonging and that, and that, and that uh, 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 envious spirit because, you know, that's cloaked up under your church clothes. But, bitch, you can see that queen because he can't really hide that. You can, he can't really hide that. He can't hide his feminine ways. And he can't hide that he was that he came through the birth canal and had a little a little sugar in his tank and he twitched when he walked. But that one that's lusting after that queen and the one that's over there knocking that queen down after church, you can't see that because they see it is covered up and you okay with them being in the church because you feel me, you know, they ain't truthful with them. See what you need to be doing, and people's like y'all, y'all need to be thanking the Lord. Thanking the Lord for giving us and people like that the truth for spirit. To tell you the truth up front. Because then you, like, you go down the line and you marry one of the motherfucking trade, bitch. And then you be mad at the fucking world when you done found out that the trade done been over there long dicking the goddamn next door neighbor. Or your gay ass nephew that you had that you saw he was gay but you didn't know your husband was. And the motherfucking man been long dicking your nephew. That's why he fucked up like that. Child, let me get off of here. I'm gone because I talk about this bullshit forever. I feel some kind of way about this shit. I don't go to them Kojic churches. I don't go to none of them churches that do all that. I don't go. I go to, to them. I go to, my, my, I go to Miami Vineyard. When I go to church, I go down to the Miami Vineyard. I go there and learn, learn the word. If they talk about homosexuals or gays or homosexual spirit, it ain't no, nowhere in this kind of way. I don't fuck with them churches like that. Anyway, I'm gone, y'all. I done been on here a long ass time. Y'all play this bitch back from the beginning because this was a good video. I'm finna put this on YouTube. All right, y'all. Bye.